Hello again, YouTubers. Justin, um, uh, today's video is going to be on depression, uh, solely depression. Um, a lot of you experience um, uh, a very low form of depression, um, a moderate form of depression, a severe depression, manic depression, um, and even um, even worse than manic depression. Um, to a point where all you do is sit down and cry all day long for no reason, um, or you, you don't leave your house, you don't socialize anymore, you, you won't, you won't um, hang out with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, maybe you've, maybe you've gotten two different bedrooms, you can't sleep in, in the same room as each other. It's gotten bad and you have no idea what to do. Well, I'm going to give you a few tools and tips on how you can raise your happiness level without taking any kind of medicine. Um, now, I do, I do recommend medicine. Antidepressants are amazing. Um, after you know four to six weeks, um, eight weeks, twelve weeks, they really start to work really well. But if you're if you just started an antidepressant and you're looking for you know ways to, to help out, um, here are some ways. Uh, step one: walk, uh, get some cardio exercise. Uh, exercising in any form, um, as long as you reach near your target heart rate, near it, you can come probably within three-fourths of it, somewhere around there, you will increase serotonin and dopamine in the brain, which is basically what um, antidepressants and other medicines would do. Um, serotonin is solely responsible for giving you that rewarded, happy, you know, content, relaxed feeling, um, not depressed. Um, and dopamine is solely responsible for basically everything. Um, happy, rewarded, um, calm, relaxed, um, content, um, or if you have um, too much dopamine, you can become excited, um, very racy, etc. Just like like meth users, you know. But uh, if if you're depressed, um, you know you need both. Um, so uh, tip one is to exercise. Tip two is to drink plenty of water and eat um, three meals a day plus snacks. Eating increases serotonin in the body. It's one of the um, <clears throat> the body's uh, natural responses for survival. Um, you fulfill a need every time that you're hungry, and it makes you um, give uh, give out serotonin in the in the brain. So you fulfill a need there, and, you, and your goals met. So you're happy. Um, do not eat a lot. Just eat normal sized meals, snacks here and there. You know. Um, uh, number three, cut back on the pop. Cut back on the pop. Uh, too much sugar in the body. Too much sugar. Uh, we don't realize it, but too much sugar can depress us. Uh, a little bit of research is behind it. Um, it's um, been going on for a few years, but a little bit of sugar, um, well, t I'm sorry, too much sugar in the body um, too often can lead to depression. Happens. Um, step number four, have sex. Have sex. Masturbate. Um, you need to take care of yourself. There are just the same with hunger, um, especially males um, and females. Um, you, I, I know you do this. You, um, you most likely probably neglect yourself. Um, you need to do that. It increases dopamine and serotonin um, quite a lot, um, especially per hour. If you can get it up to an hour, uh, quite a lot of dopamine and serotonin will come from masturbation or sex, mainly from sex. There's a big difference to the brain, sex and masturbation. Sex will give you the most, masturbating will give you a little. But, you know, you can uh, probably uh, get off a couple times a day and be okay if you can't have sex. Um, I forget where I'm at, so we're going to go with six. I don't know, six. Um, sing. Singing. Um, singing and smiling all the time will increase serotonin in the body. If you did not know this, singing um, by yourself, you don't have to be in front of people. Um, uh, smiling all the time increases serotonin in the body. Uh, if you smile too damn much, uh, no, your face is not going to get stuck, so don't worry about that. Um, another tip is to go seek professional help if you're uh, really bad. And I know a lot of people will not seek professional help because they're just afraid that nobody's going to help them or can help them. But listen, listen, people out there can help. They're not going to put you in a psych ward. They're not going to put you in a mental hospital. They're going to give you some medicine and they're going to want to do regular checkups on you. That's all they're going to do. Trust me. Uh, with or without medical insurance, there are free clinics out there, people. Free clinics. You can come up with 9, 10, 12 bucks for the antidepressants and maybe some other medicine that they want to put you on. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's very simple. It's not that hard. Um, step number seven. 
This one's simple. Chocolate. Holy crap. Nobody, nobody would have thought chocolate. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. Chocolate. Oh, man. Chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Just don't inhale it. <laughs> chocolate increases happiness. Uh, there are some um, uh, enzyme reactions with chocolate um, in the body um, as it travels through the bloodstream. Yes, it's got a lot of sugar in it, but chocolate's really good for happiness. If you did not know this, and it relaxes you. It's got some caffeine in it. If you didn't know that, chocolate has caffeine in it. Um, but chocolate's really good for uh, making you happy, especially women. Especially women, young women, um, ages about somewhere about 13 to 24, 26, somewhere around there. Younger women, chocolate, 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 chocolate. Um, quit smoking. Oh my God, you're gonna you're gonna hate yourself for like three to four weeks or whatever. But after you quit smoking, you're gonna feel really good about it. You've accomplished something that you've wanted to do forever. If you're depressed, quit smoking. Just quit. Just stop. Wean yourself off slowly. And then once you realize, hey, I did it, you can get real happy. It'll last only a short amount of time, sure. But you can look back every day and say, hey, I quit smoking. I did it. I did, yes. Um, where are we? Eight, eight, nine? Uh, we're, let's go with eight. Have a glass of wine a day. Um, alcohol can not, and do not drink, become an alcoholic. Don't. But alcohol can increase um, different uh, levels of hormones and chemicals in the brain. Um, do not become an alcoholic. I'm serious. You'll become even more depressed because you're wasting money. Uh, you're killing the brain cells. Uh, you're putting a barrier between the brain cells. Uh, you know, like a glass, a glass of wine a day. Just one, one glass of red wine a day, you'll be, you'll be set. Really. And it helps you live longer. It's got, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's got some kind of uh, chemical in it or enzyme or something, um, antioxidant. I don't know what it is. But uh, it starts with an R. Somebody out there knows what it is. But uh, it's supposed to make you live longer too. One glass a day, red wine. Uh, so that should that should make you happy. Um, if you're single, go find you a partner. Go find somebody. I know you're depressed and life sucks and and you don't want to go out. But I tell you what, you go out and meet somebody, and you force yourself to be happy around them. Guess what? You're gonna be happy. You found somebody. Oh my gosh. Then you're gonna have sex. You have chocolate all the time because you just found a girl. You know, if you're male. And then you're going to have this and this and this and this. Uh, just a lot of things are going to start coming into play. Your life is going to change. Hopefully you find a good person instead of a bad person to make you more depressed. But um, uh, just a lot of things can, can, can lead to happiness. You don't need medicine. But if you're, you're, pa if you're past moderate depression, but when, when I say moderate, I mean you watch a movie and you're really into the movie. You're always into movies. But you've never cried during movies. You just really get into movies. Now, now you're starting to cry because of the emotional scenes. You're kind of moderately depressed. Um, your emotions are taking over. You know, um, you don't. You, you're starting to starting to differ, uh, differentiate. I think is the word between uh, a normal normal set that you're used to and uh, the new set of emotions um, that that you're just you're just kind of back and forth between your little needles going like this. And then, then you hit something that's you know depressing or sad, and then it right up into the depressed area real quick, and it'll go back down to normal. Sure, after it goes away, you go, oh, that was such a good movie, you know, and then and then you know then then which is weird, you get a little happy about it because it had a great ending, you know. Um, where are we at nine? Nine? Are we at nine already? Oh, we're at nine minutes too. Damn. Um, let's see. Um, go outside. Hmm. Can't stress that enough. Get out of the house. Go outside. Um, say hi to your neighbors. Um, go hang out with friends. Um, go to the gas station. Do something. Be social. You know, um, a, a social interaction. As long as you don't have some kind of fear of social interactions, like an actual phobia, you 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 should increase um, your uh, your tolerance to social settings uh, every time that you do that, which will be good for you because you're going to be going to a therapist or a counselor soon, and uh, and you're gonna be getting some help and that's just gonna freak you out a little bit. Then you're gonna be wondering, well, what kind of medicine is that? But I tell you what, you wonder what kind of medicine that is, you can shoot me an inbox and I can give you detailed information of the medicine uh, that you're gonna be taking. I am a freaking book, freaking book. Send me messages if you're depressed. 
Um, please um, search through my videos for an anxiety help video. There is a link for my MSN. My Facebook um, is on there. Uh, if you are depressed, please add me. I can be there for you every day. Um, my sleep schedule is a little off. Um, but I can be there for you pretty much every day. If you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. If you want a stranger to tell all these weird and bad things to, I'm here. And I can coach you and help you through all of your troubles and times. And I can help you with a routine to get you back on track. Okay? Okay, take it easy, YouTubers.